we're joined live on the phone from Athens by former Greek finance minister Stefanos Manos. Uh, Mr. Manos, thanks very much for joining us. Tell us, first of all, how much support these unions have. Are they really just representing their union members, or do they have wider support amongst the Greek population? Both unions you mentioned represent actually people in the public sector. The private sector does not follow. I expect that today, in spite of a general strike, the private sector will function. Only the public sector will be on strike. And these are the ones that benefit most from the structure as it stands, and they are afraid that they are losing part of that, the benefits they enjoy. Now, the benefits that they enjoy are at, are at stake here because the government is trying to push through labor reforms. Uh, how essential are these labor reforms? They're structural, aren't they? They are, but there's much more to be done. So it's just a beginning. Uh, but there's no question they're in the right direction. What, the, what is being done with a labor reform is, uh, I would support 100 percent. I'm trying to get to the bottom of how Greeks in general feel about the austerity measures that they're being put through and the fate of their country. Uh, it seems that in recent polls, a majority of Greeks have said that they think the country will default and possibly even leave the euro. Uh, is that possibility something that, that Greeks really do think that is going to think is going to happen? Excuse me. Well, talking about feelings, uh, what what we have been seeing is that every every prediction of the government in the end has proven wrong. They say we'll do this in order to achieve that, and then uh, three months later they, they said what we did did not achieve what we thought it would achieve, so new taxes and new taxes. So the people start being fed up by that because they see no issue to all this, then there's no result. And, and that's the problem. And it's often the problem of too little and too late. So e e each time the government comes in small doses, instead of, of getting one thing out and done. That, that's, I think, one of the main problems. Do you expect Greece will stay within the Eurozone? Well, if Greece defaults, which I, I'm afraid it has a high probability of doing on the way we are, because uh, the, the, the government has chosen a track which I suspect, or I'm afraid, leads to default. So if Greece is forced to default, uh, then sooner or later, I think, it will ask to leave the euro. Uh, the, the issue is how to avoid default. And in my view, it's absolutely doable. But it requires some very tough decisions right away. You say it's doable, but so far it's been very difficult for the Greek government to implement the reforms. This week but they're expected to... to sorry, it, it, go it's ahead. not just implementation. It's the choice of the things to do. What, what I suggest we should be doing and envisaging of doing, but right away, is a massive, massive sale of state assets. And there is a concrete proposal on the table that has been prepared by German consultant Roland Berger. Uh, Eureka is the name of the project, by which Greece could sell 125 billion worth of assets. And in one go, eliminate the problem because with 125 billion sold, our, our, our debt to GDP ratio would drop to 88%. So it's a solution. That's one element. And the other element would be a very drastic reduction of government spending, not by the reduction of wages and pension, but by the elimination of jobs that are not needed. We employ, for instance, four times as many teachers per pupil as Finland, which, which is inexcusable. We shouldn't have that many people. Plus, the Finns, with one quarter of the teachers, have the best system in Europe, and we have one of the worst. Stefanos Manos, former Greek finance minister, thanks very much for Thank sharing you. what you believe to be are the solutions to the crisis in Greece. Well,